Hi all, my name is Nitin and this is demo number 3 on Azure Kubernetes service. In this demo, I would like to show you as how to use Helm to package and run your application on AKS. So let's understand DevOps workflow with container. So in this figure, we have Azure repo, we have built CI pipeline, we have released CD that is continuous delivery or deployment pipeline. And in the right side, we have Azure Kubernetes service and we have Azure container registry. So uh, developers and operation team will uh, do the commit on the uh, Azure repo, right? And uh, then in the build phase, in the build pipeline, it will just go ahead and build the Docker images and uh, push it to Azure container registry. Also, it will push the, push the Helm charts to Azure container registry in the release phase, in the release pipeline, it will just use Helm to uh, download the latest releases and deploy the containers in the form of deployment and ports to the Azure Container Service that is cluster, right? So these are the steps which we are going to run uh, in this demo. And uh, the first one is basically to create the resource group and container registry. The second is basically to launch the Azure Container uh, Azure Kubernetes cluster and do the connectivity uh, to the to the cluster. And then I will just go ahead and download the sample application code and I will create a Docker file and build the image and push it to ACR that is container registry. And then I will use Helm to create the Helm chart and update the values stored by ML file to, uh, to reference the ACR location where my image is, right? And then I will deploy the application through Helm and uh, will release one more version of my application that is version 2 uh, with the helm and then finally i will just go ahead and delete the cluster this is going to be interesting and um, very very i'm i'm today, today i'm very very excited to show uh, executing these steps okay so let's go ahead and uh, uh, start executing these uh, commands so prerequisite for this is either you have a virtual machine which is running uh, and installed and um, you have these packages already installed in as your CLI, Docker and Helm and in case you don't want to use VM then you can always use as your cloud shell to run these steps okay. So let's go ahead and uh, create a resource group with this command. This is my virtual machine so I will run this demo on virtual machine. So az group create hyphen name, this is your uh, resource group name in the location is us. Let's go back to the portal first and see how many resources and how many resource group we have currently. So we have only one resource group where my virtual machine is running, right? So let's go ahead and run this command. It will just go and create a resource group named my resource group, okay? So the next command is to create the container registry within the same resource group which I just created in the last step. Okay, so the command would be az acr create hyphen hyphen resource group, the same resource group and the name of your container registry. It has to be unique otherwise your command will fail. So let's make it, uh, give it a name az acr2708 today's date and uh, hit enter. It will just go ahead and uh, create this container registry within this resource group, my resource group. If you just go back to the portal, you should be able to see a resource group and inside this resource group, if you hit refresh, you should be able to see container registry. So it may take a couple of seconds to reflect over here. Let's wait. Yeah. So Azure container registry is reflected and it's there, right? So there is nothing in here. So I do not have any repository as of now. That's fine. Let's go back to the documentation. So now the command, this is the command to uh, to launch a AKS cluster. So let's go back to the quotation and run this command. And in this command, let's replace the Azure container the registry with the actual name which I just created. So 2708, this is the name of my Azure container registry. And let's read this command. Uh, from scratch so here I'm just mentioning AKS create so creating the AKS cluster within this resource group the name of the AKS cluster would be my AKS the location is East US and I'm just going to integrate my AKS cluster with Azure container registry so that they can communicate to pull the image right 
and push it back to Azure Container Registry. And I'm just gonna generate the SSS keys in a, in case I wanted to connect to AZ Worker not for troubleshooting purpose. Okay, let's go ahead and run this command. It will take a couple of minutes to launch AKS cluster. I'll just pause the recording here. We'll come back once the cluster is in place. Okay, so it took around four to five minutes to launch this AKS cluster and uh, it should be ready by now and now if you just go back to the portal you should be able to see all the resources as part of this cluster yeah it's there so now if you just go back to the resource group you should be able to see uh, resource groups also therein right so the cluster is ready and now in order to connect to this cluster uh, you will just download the credentials using this command so let's run this command and it will just go ahead and uh, create the context file right so now if you run qctl get nodes then you should be able to see the agent which are running okay so the cluster is ready now and uh, now we are gonna download the sample application with this command so so there is a git command which i will use and i will just clone the sample code uh, with this command so let's clear the screen and there is nothing as of now in this current working directory and run this command it will go and clone this dev and hyphen spaces and let's get into this and uh, my sample code is there in node.js and get it started okay so here is my code and i do have package.json public directory server.js there right so now let's go back to the reference documentation and create uh, yeah now we are to create the docker file so let's grab this part and create a docker file over here and paste the instructions here right so let's understand this docker file so this is very easy so we are just pulling node image uh, that is the latest image from the public and then it is gonna uh, change the working directory to slash web front end copying the um, package.json file which is uh, uh, which exists locally on my machine to the container and then it is going to install npm using this command and then copying everything to the uh, container exposing the service on port 80 and finally running the service using node server.js command okay let's come out of it save it and exit and my docker file is ready and now there are two options to build the docker image either you use docker commands uh, to to create the image and push it to uh, container registry or you will just run a single command it will do what it will create the image and will push the image to container registry okay so az acr and um, 2708 this is the name of my container registry so acr build hyphen hyphen image this is the name of your image with tag v1 and the registry i mentioned az acr 2708 hyphen hyphen file this is the file um, docker file which it will refer to create the docker image and that is present in my current working directory hit enter it will take a couple of uh, minutes to build and push the image to container registry i'll just pause the recording here We'll come back once the image is pushed to container registry okay so i was able to see the image is pushed to uh, container registry and there are a couple of steps that, that command performed so if you see it has created a tarball and uh, after that it has you know uh, created the image executing all the steps mentioned in your docker file and after that it has tagged the image with your with the name of your container registry and uh, push the image back to the container registry right so it is there now and uh, now let us you know check on the portal also if you hit refresh you should be able to see web front end there and now if you click on web front end uh, repo then you should be able to see tag v1 right so my image is created and pushed to uh post to azure container registry now the next command is uh the next command which we are gonna run is help web front end okay so what this command will do it will create a sample chart uh, 
okay when you will navigate into this directory then you will be able to see sample chart uh, in there right so let's open this values.yml file so this is corresponding to nginx let's replace nginx with our actual uh, repository which we created that is az acr uh, 2708.socr.io slash web front end right this was my repo if you see it uh, web front end right web front end okay and the tag which we have is v1 and the second thing which we are going to change in here is i will change the service type from cluster ip to load balancer so that it, it exposes the service on the load balancer and it gives me a public ip address so that i can access it from my browser let's save it and come out of this file. and that's it so now you will just you know uh, run help command so help install web run and this is the name of your release and just say dot where your current uh, application code is uh, hit enter so so now if you run kubectl get ports then you should be able to see container is in creating state right so we just need to wait until this comes into running state and once it is running state then you should be able to access it on from your browser okay Okay, so code is showing as running now. Okay, so now if you see this output when I run this Helm install front end, then there was one output. If you just you know uh, run this set of commands, then it will show you the uh, URL which you can just paste into the browser to access the application, right? So you can just grab this from here and go back to your browser paste it in here you should be able to see your application right say it again say it again say it again when you click this button then it will just go ahead and print the message in the left side that's it right so i was able to deploy my application through helm um, and it's all working fine now what is next so now we are gonna change the uh, application code to release the second version of it and let's go back to the same location where we were earlier and uh, front end. so there is a file called server.js and if you see uh, this is the message which we are able to see in the ui right so let's change this so that we can identify the next version of it and so let's say version 2 this time it should when i will just push this when i will just create a new image with this um, version and uh, it should display version 2 masses over here on the ui right so let's do it so the command to create the image and push it to acr would be again same that will be let's go back and search for the command yeah and this is the command okay so this time you're gonna say that this is version 2 of the same image right so again it will take a couple of minutes to create the image i'm just pausing the recording here we'll come back once the image is pushed to azure container registry okay so image is pushed to the container registry and now this is the output which i get and if you go back to the portal then hit refresh you should be able to see version 2 in here right so i do have two version of my uh, image and or you can say a repository in uh, in container right in um, registry as your container registry that is ACR. okay so now uh, go back to the home directory and uh, go back to the front end where my helm chart files and directories are and if you click uh, if you open values.yml and uh, here is the tag right which you just need to change so let's change it to v2 and if you run helm ls command it is showing you version revision one of your application of your application right so now i just want to upgrade that to 
next version. So when I will run this command, it will again go ahead and read this values.yml file. We'll see the uh, tag v2 over there and it will redeploy the container with rolling upgrade strategy. Okay, I'll show you. So you will run this command and uh, once you fire this command and run qctl get port then you should be able to see the new container is uh, being created and once the new container is created then the old one will be deleted okay see the old one is being terminated right so it will just follow the rolling uh, upgrade strategy and will upgrade your application to the newer version right so now you just go back to the ui and hit enter you should be able to see version 2 of your application right so hit this button now this time it is giving you this message updated message okay so at now if you run helm ls then you should be able to see two uh, you should be able to see revision 2 over here right and suppose at any point of time if you suppose uh, want to roll back to the uh, old version then this is the command which you can always run helm rollback name of your release and the revision revision was v1 one right so rollback was a success and now if you run kubectl get ports hyphen w then then it will just go ahead and launch a new container and once the new container is up and running it will just go ahead and delete the older version of container or you can say port right and if you go back to the application uh, from the ui then you should be see the older version of your application right so this is how you can do the deployment of your uh, application through helm and uh, it is very very easy okay so that's it for this demo and uh, finally i'm just gonna go ahead and delete the resource group okay so it will take a couple of minutes for me to uh, delete the resource group and all the corresponding resources i'll just wait and watch okay so thank you this is all for today thank you thank you very much